Now, let's talk a little bit more about what's going on in uh, those circuits. So here is my big inductor coil, okay? Big coil of wire, iron core, which I slid in and out. Ferrite core, somebody was asking about ferrite cores. Okay, iron material, basically a bunch of iron type rods inside of the core. Okay, so this is a solenoid. It has inductance because it produces a magnetic field. As I said earlier, when you think of these things, you think of a capacitor like a spring, something that stores energy based on sort of how much something stretched. So, you know, like pull it, it snaps back, push it, it springs back out. Okay, a capacitor is like a spring or like a a wind up spring, right? So charging a capacitor is like winding up a spring. And then, so it's, it's held like that. And then when you let it go, it goes boing, you know, and the energy that's stored in that spring is released. An inductor is like a flywheel, okay? It stores energy in movement. Spring, held in position, stores energy in position. Flywheel, bzz, stores energy in motion. So the motion of the charge through this coil is holding energy, okay? Inductance doesn't like change. So it has no effect on a DC current because the, there's no change in the DC current. On the other hand, AC, that has effect. Why? Because AC involves change. And DC current, current's just going, you know, this way, this way, this way, this way, all, always the same, no change. AC, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So there's a constant change going on in the AC, in, in an AC circuit. So an inductor reacts to AC circuit. Then we know that you put a core in a solenoid and that increases the magnetic field. It increases in the magnetic field is what brings about induction. So when I shove this, into that, I increase the inductance of the solenoid. That has no effect on the DC circuit, but it has an effect on the AC circuit because I've increased the inductance. Inductance hates change. Inductance tries to block the changing of the AC circuit. And that is why when I shove the coil into the solenoid, sorry, when I sub shove the core into the solenoid, the bulb gets dimmer because the inductance is is impeding the flow of electric current, it is resisting that change.